The prison service says one of the men who killed Stephen Lawrence could face further punishment after reports he used a mobile phone in his cell. It says it's working to have any social media account potentially linked with David Norris shut down after claims he used it for Facebook and YouTube. The head teacher at the secondary school of Molly Russell has told the inquest into her suicide that social media causes no end of issues and that it's almost impossible to keep track of. Two of Molly's teachers gave evidence today. Instagram's owner Meta and social media site Pinterest have both apologised for content Molly viewed. And Hammersmith and Fulham Council want a ban on certain e-bike battery chargers. It follows an investigation that found dangerous chargers were on sale via popular online marketplaces. There have been 57 e-bike related fires in London so far this year, according to the London Fire Brigade. Now it's a question businesses, commuters and shoppers have all been waiting the answer for. When will the new Bond Street station on the Elizabeth Line open? Well, after a long delay, finally a date has been set. Our transport correspondent Tom Edwards has the details. Work's still going on here at Bond Street Station and it has been a long time coming, but at last we have an opening date for Bond Street Station, which has been plagued with construction problems. It's going to open on October the 24th. Yes, you heard it right, October the 24th in just a few weeks' time. And that will be welcomed by the shops and businesses in this area that have suffered due to the pandemic and the cost of living crisis, as it will increase footfall. The next big date after that is November the 6th, when we get more through trains on this service on the Elizabeth line and then next year we will get more trains then very late very over budget this project will be finished now with its uh, intervention today the Bank of England said it was going to buy up government bonds in an attempt to restore order to the market but what exactly does that mean and what could the impact be well our UK editor Paul Brand is here to explain so Paul talk us through this because this is going to be new territory for quite a lot of people now yeah, Mary, this is an area most of us never trade in, uh, but clearly it's an area that's important to the banking sector because it affects all of our bank balances. When the government needs to raise money, it issues bonds where it sells debt to investors and promises to pay a set interest rate in return. This graph is one way of looking at how dramatic things have been. It shows the rate the government had to pay before the mini budget and the orange line at the bottom uh, is where they want it to be, low and flat. But look what happened after the statement on Friday. The rate shot up because of a lack of confidence in the Chancellor's plans, causing major problems for the government in terms of raising more money, but also, crucially, for pension funds. As one source in the city put it to me today, many pensions were very nearly about to be toast. So, with rates soaring, earlier the Bank of England intervened, saying it would use its own reserves to buy government debt. And look at the impact here. That line dropped sharply. The Bank of England hopes this starts to bring down the rate, making it easier for money to move around the system. But it may only prove a temporary measure if the government and the Bank of England continue to pull in different directions.